Ready? What am I doing? Quick one. Oh, okay. I'm in James Victor, and uh, he's got plenty to gloat about, really. Uh, yesterday was an amazing day. You had five in the top 11, is that how it worked? Five in the top nine, um, particularly the young guys, the, the three that I had in Tour de Lavenir last year that uh, we'd, we'd planned that day for the last couple of months, and uh, the, the boys delivered. It was, it was great to see. We need to do a bit of a roll call, and I'm just going to ask you for a couple of sentences on each of them. Yeah, Jai Hindley second. He was fifth in the Tour de Lavenir. Yeah. And Tour Down Under uh, was respectable, but certainly helped our team's classification at Tour Down Under. Um, and, and a climber of the future, I think, uh, particularly after yesterday. And then Michael Storer. Michael Storer, yeah, he's from Perth, the same as Jai. Uh, Michael seventh in the Tour de Lavenir last year. Third in a stage, uh, can time troll. Uh, went away with Jai on the last climb and just ran out of legs. I think Jai just had the better legs yesterday. But I mean, for Jai and Michael to both say they beat uh, Froome and Chavez to a hilltop finish yeah. when they were with them at three kilometres to go. Um, Michael just ran out of legs, but he still beat some um, big names across the line. I'm and Luke, Lucas Hamilton um, won the mountains classification in Tour de Lavenir last year. Certainly a, a, a rider of the future and, and uh, a great little, great little rider. Uh, probably held back a little bit yesterday and, and knows that there's still opportunities to come this week, but uh, that rounds out the, the three young guys. Yep. All right. I mean, it's a different racing in January to July, so we understand what's yeah. going on. We yeah, understand yeah, the no dynamic. Question. But you've got to take advantage of the situation, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. And I, I've talked to the guys about that, and we've, we've talked as a group about that. They're, these guys... Chavez, Froome, Gerens, uh, even Damien Housen, they're not in Tour de France form at the moment. No. Um, and they've come to our backyard to race, and, and these guys have known, the young guys have known for the last couple of months to be ready for how hard the Sun Tour is this year. The terrain is harder than um, Tour Down Under, and they had the opportunity to measure themselves against pure World Tour competition. Yeah. And now there's only two World Tour teams here, yeah. and they're in really good race form um, against. Tour de France contenders that are still in their building part of the season so it just it balances everything out but we're in our, our backyard and, and the guys have really taken the opportunity with great you know with both hands and, and made the most of it. Uh, something that I took from yesterday that it felt a bit like Australian cycling had grown up a little yeah. you know just not that it's been in its infancy but it just felt like it had matured because it, the very fact that Chris is starting here his season here or um, and racing well, and Chavez is there, and we've got that mix that we know all about, the headline makers, but then you see the young guys like Jai really... Yeah, and it. even Damien Housen came through our program yeah. for three years, he was with us, and he, he grew a lot last year in Europe. Yeah. He had a decent crack at the, at the Sun Tour last year, but I think the team's repaying him now for what he's done for the team in Europe, yeah. and, he's, and he's got good form at the moment. It's, again, it's not Tour de France form, but yeah. he's in really good shape and deserved that win. But, uh, yeah, as, as a whole, I think uh, the guys have grown a lot in, in this block of competition to show what they have got uh, at this level. And I think, you know, you don't see our guys because they're in Europe a lot and you read stories about Lavanier and go, oh, you know, you, you know the Australians are going, well, how hard is the Tour de Lavanier? Well, these three young guys that have stepped up at Tour de Lavanier now, you can yeah. see yesterday what their qualities are against international competition. Yeah. The messages I've got from Europe overnight, uh, there's a lot of people in Europe uh, for the fact that Froome and Chavez are here. Yeah. And, and to see the young Australians competing uh, against those guys and doing it extremely well um, makes me proud, but also it, it, the, the future is bright for those guys looking for a career out of what they can show here. Well, thanks for a quick overview. No worries, Rob. Cheers.